Okay, in this video we're going to go over the overview of the new workspace on Photoshop Elements 15. Uh, it is an incremental improvement from version 14, but there are some new things. And uh, we're basically going to cover the entire workspace, not just those things that were added on version 15. Okay, let's get started. Right now we're on my desktop, so I'm going to go and actually start um, version 15 of Photoshop Elements. Okay, this is the new splash welcome screen. Uh, as usual, you can go to the photo editor or to the organizer or to the video editor if you have it installed. That's Premiere Elements is the video editor here. I'm always start in the organizer and that's where this video is going to be um, addressing. So we click on the organizer button and now this is my current catalog. Uh, we'll go around and look at various pieces of it. This is a standard message you'll get every time you start it up. If you've imported any new pictures, it gives you an opportunity to back up your catalog immediately based on what you've done previously. I always just click on remind me next time so I can get started doing my work. Okay, let's start in the lower right hand corner. Uh, right now where you see the cursor, this is the name of my catalog I'm working in. It's called 2015 Prime Photos. And over in the left hand side, it shows you the current number of items in the catalog. In my case, 9,873 in this particular catalog. Next to it, it shows the date range of the pictures that are in the catalog based on their shot date. Let's start up here in the upper left hand corner. Usual, not anything really changed here. For the file menu, we have file. You can see the various choices there. We'll come back to those in a later video or uh, tutorial. Edit, various things you can do in edit. Like all of them, those that are can be actually used at this point are bold and all of the um, available shortcuts are listed on the right. Next comes find, pretty much the same as it's always been. View, same thing there. Various choices you can do in view. Those that have a check marker, those I've selected. And then the help. We'll come back to help in a minute. The big thing beginning in version 11 was the various media or various views at the top. eLive, media, people, places, and events. And uh, I have a tutorial, a uh, written tutorial on these, but let me just click on them and show you briefly what they are here. Okay, eLive, eLive is the latest one. Here it's basically going online and showing you current uh, um, tutorials, both video as well as uh, written tutorials. Also, uh, a fair number of inspirational type of photo projects you can do. Next comes media, which you'll probably spend most of your time in. This is the grid that shows all of the pictures in your catalog. Right now we're doing looking at newest verse, newest first, and that means the very last date that pictures were imported into the catalog and shot on that date are shown here. This particular catalog, the last entry I have in it is September 28th. Next one over is People. As you can see, there are certain circles here that actually have faces. These represent people that I've actually used the facial recognition um, feature within Photoshop Elements uh, to find them. Uh, the others I've just tagged in the traditional uh, applying keyword tags to their names. Places shows you all the places where you've taken pictures and it's a map. We'll see if we can scroll over here. Here you can see uh, so I've taken some pictures in these areas. If you zoomed in you could see uh, those 
thumbnails would break apart as we zoom zoom in the map and then finally of the new views are events these are all the events I've identified and if you double click on any one of the uh, stacks of pictures you could expand it won't go too much more into this but this up here was the main difference that was added in version 11 and actually changed not only the look and feel of the program but also how you use the program although the traditional um, tagging uh, process can still be used and over on the right uh, let's get back to media here here we go back to media looking at all the media here whenever you see media highlighted and then all media here you know that if you scroll you're seeing all of the pictures in your catalog none there's been no filtering create pretty much like it's always been various things you can create various projects and then share and share directly from the organizer to Facebook email go to Flickr Twitter smug bug smug mug Vimeo for your videos as well as YouTube and burn a DVD and PDF slideshow again burning a DVD and especially a blu-ray uh, number one you have to have premier elements and number two you need to have a blu-ray burner so these are listed but then if you click on it it'll ask you if you want to upgrade to Premier Elements and you can make a PDF slideshow as well pretty much the same as it been for the last few versions remember we're looking at version 15 now and those of you using uh, more recent versions you'll not see too much difference in 15 up in the upper right hand corner this is where Adobe has made big changes this year I will not cover this in this video but I will later if I click on the magnifying glass there I can begin to type whatever I want to search for in any number of variety of ways you can see people places events and more but what's really neat is down to the left hand side are icons and this first one is called smart tags just hovering over it elements has gone in and done some analysis on the pictures and grouped in the stacks if you will pictures that uh, uh, match general um, generic keywords that they've decided upon not you for example over here play would be pictures that Adobe fails someone is playing or doing something <laughs> here they're running here's a car so as you can see the number of pictures of each one of these categories family not quite sure why they decide those were family but they did uh, so that's the smart tags that's what is brand new here this whole column is brand new as you can see there's a column of people places date folders keyword tags albums events you can star rate pictures or see what your star ratings for up to five stars for example let me quickly just do that I don't have too many five stars now the only pictures being shown here are those with five stars and then you can select only look at the pictures or videos audio and projects as well and to actually do anything with these you would simply click on grid once you go back to grid that search whatever you've done you have the basic um, organizer grid with those only those pictures being shown and now you can tag them and do whatever else you want to do with them that is brand new the way you, you use this search is brand new in 15 as long as we got it opened uh, this is the tagging area where right now um, there are people tags that you can expand places tags that came from up here um, and event tags again up there and then above here where it says keyword tags these are all the 
traditional taggings. Those of you that started using elements in, in the earlier versions bef before version 11, this is where all your tagging was done in your searching. Um, so that's still there. And the fact that you have, let's go back here, we'll collapse keywords. The fact that you have places and let's do events. In fact, you have events. You can either tag the event here or using the events here to define to define new events, etc. So they appear in both places. Places appear in both play, events appear in both places here and here. Places the same way. People the same way. So you can use traditional tagging techniques. Um, and finding techniques um, with people, even though they are now, Adobe would probably like you to use uh, all of the capabilities within each of these views. Down here at the bottom is new, began to be new in uh, version 11, just carried over the same way in version 15. Uh, so on the surface, uh, there isn't too much difference in looks between recent versions of the organizer and 15 versus the other. The big thing was that uh, searching capability that I think you're really going to like. And just for completeness, completeness, notice you can zoom in and out. Um, oh, one other thing, if we select a picture here, okay, here we've clicked on a raw image. Right now we're looking at whatever tags are associated with the RAR down here. But if we click over to information, we can see the general information, metadata, which tells us everything we'd ever want to know about that particular picture. And his, its history, this one I haven't done much, much with yet, but if I had posted it on Facebook from the organizer or Flickr or somewhere like that or emailed it. That would be noted here on this right hand side for that picture uh, uh, that's selected. And we can caption the picture from there also. Uh, one last thing here uh, before we knock this video off because I did want to keep it short. I've got a picture selected here as Always, I can view it full screen by going down here and fix, uh, clicking on full screen. And I could have done that also by F11. And notice I put a five star by that. Interesting. Must have really wanted it for some reason. Get out of full screen, back to grid, press escape on the keyboard. Okay, that's it for a very quick look of the organizer as it appears in uh, version 15. Uh, inside the organizer, there was a lot of performance improvements, especially in the searching capability, which you just saw a little of, and also within the facial recognition. It's faster uh, and to some extent more accurate. So thanks for watching, and I hope this will get you excited about maybe possibly at least trying out version 15.